Right, this is a good lead for Garchomp. Uh, they want no part of Garchomp. Thing and Giratina comes back in, and we take out that Giratina. And they come back in. Oh man, shields are down, guys. Oh, we're gonna get off a super effective Earth Power and say goodbye to Mel Metal, guys. Welcome everyone. In this video, we are showcasing a strong team in the Master League, guys. Featuring Dragon Tail Garchomp. Man, guys, we just had that community day with Garchomp. Uh, this was one that I actually had uh, before the community day. It is a hundo, so I'm completely fine using an Elite Charge TM on this guy here. And uh, we are going with an alternative move set of Dragon Tail Sand Tomb Earth Power, guys. You'd be surprised at how many how many matchups you end up winning with this move set. Um, I certainly was surprised when I checked it out on PV Poke. It is a very strong move set for Garchomp, uh, provided you have the right Pokemon to uh, support it, right, guys? So yeah, as you can see, nice little Hundo there. It was a hatch, and um, so yeah, guys. On this team, we've got uh, it, it's a classic ABB line. We've got a Dragon in the lead. Similar to yesterday's video with two steals in the back, guys. And um, our safe swap is Melmetal. I finally got a decent one from that uh, Mel Melmetal box and um, decided to power it up for the Master League, guys. Uh, we are going to be running the conventional moveset, Thundershock, Rock Slide, Super Power for our Melmetal. And um, yeah, and we've got uh, Metagross in the back, guys. Metagross is just a great generalist in the Master League. You do have to watch out for those Giratinas. Um, it doesn't want to see Yvettel uh, either, but um, if, you, if you can work around those two Pokemon, Metagross has a fantastic time, guys. Metagross handles uh, Melmetals. It handles um, Dialga, probably the biggest problem Pokemon in the... Uh, Master League, you know, if you're going up against one. And uh, Metagross, just a solid backbone to this team, guys. So yeah, we're, we're running Dragon in the front, Double Steel in the back, and is very strong, guys. You're about to find out in these videos. I had a lot of fun with this team, but uh, without further ado, let's get right into these battles. All right, let's see what we're met with. A Giratina Origin. All right, this is a fantastic lead. Giratina wants no part of Gar Garchomp, guys, and they come right into a Dialga. We go into our Metagross. Metagross has a very good matchup up against Dialga. We are resisting these uh, Dragon Breaths. They are also resisting our Bullet Punches. They did build up to a Draco Meteor, so we are going to shield that up. That would do massive resisted damage. That move hits very hard. We're going to build up to an Earthquake, and I'd imagine they don't want to hang on to this Dialga at this point. It's a terrible matchup for them, so yeah, they do let that Earthquake through. They come back in with that Giratina. Uh, they are doing super effective damage with their Shadow Claws. We're going to look to get off a quick uh, Meteor Mash that uh, does a nice amount of neutral damage to this Giratina. And at this point, Metagross has done its job. We're going to let this go down. Uh, we're in a good spot to come in with our Garchomp. And I'd imagine they, we are going to wait down the switch timer. I'd imagine they want to get the heck out of there. And they do. <laughs> they come in with a Mel Metal. We go into our own Mel Metal for the mirror matchup, guys. We're just going to build up to two superpowers and bait with a Rock Slide. Uh, they are up on shields, so we want to pressure those shields and see if we can get one from them. And we do. Very nice. Uh, they did also build up to two superpowers. <clears throat> Garchomp has a great matchup up against Melmetal, so uh, we're not going to bother shielding. Um, our main objective was to do some damage if we could, but mainly get those shields down. And uh, we are going to get off a quick uh, Sand Tomb bait. Um, they might have lost track of our energy. They might think this is an Earth Power, and they do shield. Very nice. And... Um, we're not going to bother shielding. We do resist rock slides, but a double debuffed uh, superpower is not going to do much of anything. And Giratina comes back in, and we take out that Giratina. My goodness. And they come back in. Oh, man. Shields are down, guys. Shields are down. <laughs> oh, we're going to get off a super effective Earth Power and say goodbye to Melmetal, guys. What a good battle. Good game. Well played to this battler.
And guys, if you haven't already, do remember to subscribe. It provides a massive help to the channel. Let's see what we got. Oh, a Giratina Origin. Okay, you don't see too many of those in the Master League, and uh, they're going to stick in here. We are chunking away with those Dragon Tails. It is doing super effective to this Giratina Altered here, guys. Um, we are going to shield up this Dragon Claw. I wasn't sure how much it did from a Giratina uh, Altered, but we're going to look to uh, get off a Sand Tomb and debuff that defense, and they do shield. That is awesome. So now that they have been debuffed, we are chunking away even more with these super effective Dragon Tails, guys. Um, we're going to shield it up again. Again, I was unsure about how much damage a Dragon Claw did, but... I do find out that it really doesn't do too much. Uh, Giratina Altered is pretty uh, defense weighted, and uh, we do just farm down with those Dragon Tails. Oh, and they come in with a Toga Kiss. Okay, so we're going to look to get off a quick debuff. In hindsight, probably should have just uh, swapped immediately because us coming in with a Steel type, yeah, they're just going to swap out, and that does clear the debuff. But they come in with a Dialga. Okay, this is not a good answer for Melmetal, guys. Uh, we, we built up to two superpowers. The first one will... Uh, oh, they let it go. Okay. So we were hoping to get a shield, but they let that one go, and they're going to shield up the second one. They probably thought that we were going to bait. Um, you can play that Dialga matchup a number of ways. You can bait. I mean, it does have its merits. And uh, that Iron Head doesn't do much of anything to us. It is resisted. Um, and we're going we're gonna to get off a third superpower, and this will be taking out this Dialga. We say bye-bye to Dialga. They come back in with that Toga Kiss. It's all but over, guys. Um, we've got Metagross, and <laughs> Metagross just eats Toga Kiss for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This Toga Kiss cannot do much of anything to our Metagross. Uh, they do get to a move. I'd imagine this is a Flamethrower, but at this health range, Metagross can live that, and... Uh, we're going to get off this massively super effective Meteor Mash, and that is going to be one-shotting this Togekiss, and that is going to be a good game. Well played. Uh, it's so satisfying just uh, eating away at those uh, Togekisses with uh, Metagross, guys. You have no idea. Let's see what we got up next here. Melmetal. All right, this is a good lead for Garchomp. Uh, they want no part of Garchomp. They come in with a Dialga. We go right into our Melmetal. Probably should have gone in with Metagross, um, just in case they have a Ibetal or a Giratina in the back. So a bit of a misplay there, but it's still okay. This is a very positive matchup for Melmetal. And they do shield up our first superpower. Um, like I said, you can play this a number of ways. You can either bait or just go right for it. It, it really... You have no way of knowing if they'll shield or not, but we are going to bait this time. We do build up to two superpowers, so we're going to bait with a rock slide. I don't want to risk debuffing ourselves again, and we're going to build up to nearly two superpowers. Uh, now that we've got all the shields down, um, we can just go straight superpower from here on out. We're going to look to get off the second superpower here. Yes, it has been debuffed, but it will still do quite a bit of super effective damage. And we're going to get off the third one, and this will be taking out this Dialga. Uh, this is why we've got two steels in the back to handle those uh, pesky Dialgas that people love running. And they come in with a Dragonite. That's an interesting choice because we can still get to a Rock Slide. Yes, we've been debuffed, but it still chips away quite a bit. This is super effective after all. And uh, they're going to look to farm down. Interesting move, but uh, they don't know what we have in the back. That's why it's so risky to come in onto a steel type. Because we got Metagross, guys, and here we go. Shields are down. We are resisting all of their uh, charge attacks. I'd imagine this is a heavy move. Yeah, they... Oh, Draco. Okay, so this is a Draco... That did quite a bit of uh, resisted damage. They come back in with that Melmetal, and here we go, guys. We get to an Earth Power. Oh, man. Are you guys ready to see Melmetal uh, get one shot here? Let's say bye-bye. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite one shot, but um, it's okay. Uh, Garchomp has a very good matchup against Melmetal. It can easily tank two superpowers from Melmetal, and it is in farm down range. So we can just farm down pretty easily. Garchomp has done its job. Those few dragon breaths will take us out. And we are in a comfortable spot with our Metagross. Uh, they cannot get to another move before we can. 
we're gonna look to get off this uh, hard hitting meteor mash and say bye bye to Dragonite. And that is gonna be a good game. Well played. Guys, Dragon Double Steel is so powerful in this Master League meta, I'm telling you. Let's see what we got. Melmetal. Okay, this is a positive lead for us. Melmetal wants no part of Garchomp, guys. And they come in with a Yvettel. Okay. Um, Yvettel is a bit of a problem for this team. Uh, you just have to play it out the right way. Uh, I think we could have won this one. Uh, if we go to the two shields, I'm probably giving it away, but... <laughs> I can't help it. Um, so we do get off this rock slide and they let it go through. And they're building up here. We get to another one. Melmetal is so spammy, guys. Such a fun Pokemon. And they do shield that one. So if we had gone to the two shields, I think we would have won this Yvettel matchup. But uh, we we it's very unwise that we didn't shield that because it puts us in a, in a bad spot. But we do get ahead of on energy with our uh, Garchomp, and they've got a Lugia in the back. So yeah, Lugia is a bit of a problem as well for Garchomp. It's not a good matchup. Uh, Garchomp does lose to Lugia, because um, they're, they, they, they're running Dragon Tail these days, and that's doing super effective to us, and our charge moves are resisted, so we're just looking to debuff this thing and chunk away with our Dragon Tail. But Lugia is so darn tanky, guys. It has the highest stat product of any Pokemon in the game. So it's just an absolute monster. And they take us out there. So we got to come in with our Metagross. It's our, we're down to our last Pokemon here. And uh, we got to call the bait here, guys. Um, we got we to gotta be smart with our shields. So we, we are going to call the bait. And it is just a Rock Slide. So that's good. We're going to bait our, ourselves here with a uh, Meteor Mash, hoping to get the last shield. And then we're going to look to build up to Earthquake to take this thing out. Now, I probably should have shielded this one because they're almost assuredly going to try and get off their superpowers before they go down. So, yeah, should have shielded that first one and then no shield of the second one. That's, that's the second misplay of this battle here. And... Um, because the reason why you want to shield the first one is because that's going to be the strongest one. The second one will be debuffed and will be doing less damage. We do take it out with an Earthquake and they come back into Lugia. And at this point, our Metagross is just too low to handle this Lugia. Lugia is such a monster, guys. I can't wait to power mine up. I've got a, I've got a Hundo that I'm looking to power up. But uh, good game to this battler. Very well played. Yeah, I definitely think we could have won that last one if we played a little differently, but oh well, no big deal. All right, so we're met with a Mewtwo. Okay, this is a decent matchup for Garchomp. Um, we're just going to chunk away with our Dragon Tails and look to build up here. Uh, we are going to go for the Sand Tomb to get, get the debuff and do more damage with that heavy Dragon Tail fast move. They do shield, very nice. Um, Mewtwo is is super attack weight. I think it has the highest attack stat in the game. Um, so they do shield. We also shield that uh, Psy Strike. That would do quite a bit to Garchomp. It does hit super hard coming from a Mewtwo. Uh, we let that second one go t go through. We want to uh, be smart with our shields. Uh, at this point, this Mewtwo is low enough to where one Sand Tomb will take it out. And uh, they do let it go down. We do win lead. Very nice. Very nice, win and lead. Uh, let's see what they decide to come in with. Uh, Dialga, okay. So yeah, we go right into our Melmetal. We don't want to get farmed down. We don't want to give them any sort of energy advantage. We do build up to two superpowers and they build up to a Thunder. So we are going to shield that. That would do quite a bit of neutral damage. We're going to look to bait with a Rock Slide um, and see if we can get that last shield off of them. Oh, they catch on a Yvettel. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, we weren't looking to bait. I, I in the in the battle, I I had saw that they had swapped. So, yeah, we we hit Rock Slide to uh, deal some super effective damage to that Yvettel, and they concede the battle. That is going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. Very nice. So that's the team, guys. Um, again, guys, Dragon Double Steel in this Master. Master League Classic meta is uh, very, very strong. Um, what, 
I mean, two best dragons, obviously Dialga. Excluding Dialga, I think the two best dragons in this uh, meta would be Garchomp and um, Dragonite guys. We featured Dragonite Double Steel yesterday, and today I thought, why not do? Uh, why not give that Garchomp a try? Running a alternative move set of Dragon Tail, Sand Tomb, Earth Power. Earth Power being that Community Day move, guys. Like I said, it's a hundo, so I really didn't mind uh, forking over the Elite Charge TM on it. Well worth it. Um, I knew I was going to have to do it going into that community day. But guys, yeah, super fun team. Um, Togekiss does pose some problems for this team, uh, particularly in the lead. Um, but you can work around that. You, that's why you've got two steels in the back to handle any Togekisses, as you saw in, in the uh, in the battle there. Um, Metagross can more than handle Togekiss, and so can Melmetal. Um, so yeah, Togekiss in the lead is uh, you got to work around that. It it can be done. I have done it. Um, what else gives us team problems? Uh, you know, that's why you run Gear, uh, Garchomp, because uh, Giratina and Yvette all give Metagross problems. So having Garchomp, uh, which beats both of those Pokemon, um, it has a harder time with Yvette, but you can beat it. Um, but uh, you, you have a pretty clean win over any Giratina, whether it be Origin or, or Altered. You'll most likely see the uh, Origin form in the Master League. Um, but yeah, Garchomp handles, handles the Giratinas, um, Melmetal can handle Yvettel, uh, you just have to play it the right way, as you saw in that one loss that, I, that we showcased, um, didn't play it the right way and we paid for it with a loss, but, uh, if you go to the two shield with it, provided they don't shield one of your rock slides, you end up winning that matchup. But a uh, fun team, guys. Very strong, very powerful team. Um, we'll leave it there for now, guys. As always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.